Hello. This is Living in Boulder Vlog for Monday, Labor Day, the September 7th at 1.30 p.m. Um, so, I am spending my last day, one of my last days, I guess, today and tomorrow, sober because I think I'm going to take the plea deal because it's something I think I can deal with, so... I'll just move my website, my DUI website, off to the education page next to my own creations, and I'll become like a, a guide for whoever else wants to take it to trial if you're habitual. So we need to do that. We need to make it uh, so that habitual people can drive stoned above five nanograms. Make it like. 20 or something, I don't know, or 10, 15, anyway, um, so I think I'm really stoned right now, I've been smoking this butter, and then I'm out of that, um, I'm going to smoke this leafy stuff and this vaporizer, that'll be fun today and uh, tomorrow I have to redo my test my stoner test tomorrow I think I'll go in and buy brownies tomorrow though and get really high and go out there and juggle with one hand and do the test they have me do but then also do uh, the yoga tree pose and then the one legged dance, the one legged hop like all sorts of things that I, that I think should be in the real test and then like it's and then say something that I think should be in the test because it has to include speaking as well. I haven't thought yet though. I know they make you do the, the vocabulary backward, but they should you know they should have the person like reiterate where they went you know and stuff like that. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I have to do that again because they lost my sample. <laughs> the lab lost my sample. So, I uh, lately I have been, um, it's weird, I'm, I'm outside on my deck, but this is the first time that I, like, I've only been out here a few times all summer, because I just haven't gotten around to it, and now it's getting colder, but it's kind of funny, it's, but it's still nice and warm. Um, but I've been spending time working on my website, uh, like, the, uh, the more surface pages, I've been working on the surface pages, the more important pages, the writing and that organization. Um, one cool exciting thing about working on my website now is how I can condense all of these little charts and then condense them and condense them and condense them. And then just kind of put them all, all the little links whoops, to the interesting parts of all the charts like all in one page, you know, like click here and then just, that'd be cool. But, um, I think because I'm not going to be, I'm, oh yeah, so I'm going to have to be sober for four months, so, um, plea deal. Sober for four months, ten hours of community service. Yeah. Um, I'm a DWAI. Um, but, uh, I had too much going on. Anyway, I'm really high. What was I talking about? Um, yeah, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do screen captures of uh, all of my videos. Um, on me, on of my channel, of my, uh, website. Yeah. So, uh, while well, I'm high, because I was really high when I, when I made it, so, um, and then I'll work on it for four months, now what do I think it'll be like when I'm st sober for four months? Um, I'll probably do a lot of YouTube videos, like all day long, like that's what I did when I was in my van, I wasn't smoking weed, um, I'll probably ride my bike. 
Oh yeah, and time myself. I'll time myself for all of the different various uh, distances because I won't have any lung problems, you know? I haven't been able to ride my bikes like without smoking weed right beforehand like in years. Like The last time I tried it was in... Uh, I mean, I went on a ride here a couple of years ago, and I can't remember if I was stoned or not, but it wasn't really a full ride because I got a flat. And then I came back, but back in tw uh, March of 2010, I uh, rode, yeah, and I was like getting my ass kicked by everybody, by all these other people, but uh, I was having asthma, so I couldn't push myself because I was smoking weed right beforehand. And I don't think I went on a single ride without smoking weed. So, um, that'll be cool. And I'll, I can predict how I'll do before I do it, all the different distances. And, uh, you know, I'm actually not just stoned right now. I'm actually buzzed because I heard that if you're on probation, you can't do alcohol either. And I normally don't drink, but I figured I do drink more often than four months. So I figured I'll drink, I'll get a six pack of margarita from Walmart. And, um, you know, party. So, that's like my third or something. Um, so, what was I talking about? Yeah, so what am I going to do? So yeah, I can predict how I'll do. That's, I'm, you know, based on whatever. Based on who I am. You see, I'll, I, I'm, I'll be like a mid-pack commuter. A mid to upper pack fast commuter. Because I commute and I work on my feet, but I don't ride or anything. And I don't ride hard when I commute and stuff, so. Yeah. And whenever I commute, I'm stoned. So I have asthma, so I can't. So it's probably how fast it'll be. Probably like 18.5 miles per hour. Or something like that. No, no, yeah, but I'll go off of, yeah. Which courses will I do? I'm going to do the course for the, uh, the, uh, Iron Man. No, no, not the Iron Man. The, uh, triathlon, the Boulder Peak Triathlon, because it's 25 miles, it's 40 kilometers, so, that one, and then, but if I want to feel like I'm faster, I'll do it with the Haystack one, but I'll explain all that today on my website here, on the screen capture program on my computer, so, yep, <sighs> so, if anybody wants any help, I guess, I'll come to the stand, you know. I was thinking about singing that song, Fuck the Police. Fuck the Police, coming straight from the underground. And then even the first one. Straight out of Compton. Man, if you can nail that one, that'd be hardcore. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll get going on my... Um, on my website explications while I'm still stoned and then I'll start smoking I'll keep smoking this alright peace out